Huge thanks to LastPass for sponsoring this drop test. Today we'll be drop testing the iPhone XR versus the Pixel 3. I noticed something strange when the Pixel 3 came out. All of the review units were breaking from people like iJustine, MKBHD, Danny, even Jonathan Morrison broke Austin Evans' unit. Now I don't think it's their fault. It could just be that the Pixel 3 is weaker than it should be, but the only way to find out for sure is with a drop test. Huge thanks to LastPass for sponsoring this drop test. Switching phones is a hassle. Every single app has its own password, and if you're probably being lazy and using the same password for everything, that's not good. One app that makes switching phones easier is LastPass. Used by literally millions of people, LastPass has the ability to generate long, secure passwords that are encrypted, which means they're secure and you never have to remember what they are since they're saved inside of the LastPass app and autofill for you. And since you don't need to remember your passwords, you don't need to write them down somewhere that's not secure. And you don't need to use the same password for everything. Whether you're at your computer or your cell phone, LastPass is 100% free. I'll leave a link in the description. But if you want a few extra perks, like a gigabyte of encrypted storage, it's just two bucks a month. Huge thanks to LastPass again for sponsoring this drop test. Link is in the description. Let's get started. So you might remember from the previous iPhone XS drop test, the XS did really, really well. It didn't break at all. But the side rails of the iPhone XS are made from stainless steel, which is much different than aluminum. Aluminum is softer, which could change the results of the drop test. So right here, we'll be recording in slow motion with my transparent Pixel 3. And then over on this side, we'll be using the Razer Phone 2, which is also transparent. And then I'll be performing the drop test from relatively realistic situations, you know, like getting up from a chair, knee height, dropping it as it pulls out of your pocket from waist height. And then if it lasts long enough, we'll be doing from a head height drop all the way onto the concrete. Both these phones are brand new and ready to be drop tested. So for the first drop, we'll start from about knee height because that's where if you're sitting in a chair and the phone's on your lap and it just slides off, that's where it'll be. We'll start with the iPhone first, sitting a knee height. <laughs> So far, so good. And now we'll do the Pixel 2, starting from knee height. Both phones so far looking pretty good. No damage done to the iPhone XR, and no damage done to the Pixel 3. A Little bit of scuffing right there along the, uh, the aluminum frame scuffing up along the top but no cracks or anything yet both phones are still working perfectly fine drop test number two this time i'm gonna be pulling it out of my pocket and simulating it just slipping out of your hands starting with the iphone 10r and the pixel 2 Pulling it out of my pocket, letting it drop. Check this out. No damage done to the back glass yet. Still got those same scuffs along the bottom. No cracks along the screen yet. Same thing goes for the iPhone XR. No damage whatsoever. A little bit of scuffing right there along the top. Let's go for drop number three. We'll do the same pocket style drop as last time. Starting with the iPhone XR, pulling it out of my pocket. And then the Pixel 3, pulling it out of my pocket. So far, no major damage yet. Pixel 3, oh wait, just kidding. The Pixel 3 is the first one to get damaged right there along the corner. The glass is shattered just a little bit. Down at the bottom, still no major damage, just a little bit. Just a little bit of scuffing. No damage on the back and no damage on the front. It'll be interesting to see which phone cracks first. This time we'll do it from chest height. I'll be pulling out of my pocket and dropping it from about, you know, four and a half feet or so. Number four, okay, we'll go with the pixel. Pulling out of my pocket, four and a half feet. It's 
still no damage. I'm impressed. You would think the phones from a drop that tall, you'd think there'd be more damage. We're gonna keep going until one of these is completely broken. Yeah, the Pixel 3 has a little bit of damage up top, but that's not a crack yet. Let's do one more from chest high. Chest high iPhone drop right here, straight down. Chest high Pixel 3 drop right here, straight down. Ooh, I think we might have a crack. Check that out right there, all along the bottom. But still no damage to the screen. We'll keep going until one of these screens is shattered. No damage to the camera lenses, no damage to the upper glass. One interesting thing to note with the repair prices of both of these phones, to repair the screen on the iPhone XR is $199. To repair the back glass, it's $399. Now to repair the back glass on the Pixel 3 is just $100, and to repair the screen is $269 because it's an OLED. So the screen is more expensive on the Pixel 3, but the back is much less expensive to replace than the iPhone XR. Now let's do it from head height. All right, we've got the iPhone XR from head height. Just like if you're talking on the phone and you accidentally drop it. Oh, that was a bad one. And then we got the Pixel 3, head height, talking on the phone, accidentally dropping it. Bad. Still no damage to either one. Let's keep going. We're going till a screen breaks. iPhone XR head height. And then Pixel 3 head height. Oh boy. Pixel 3 is not having a good day. Check this out. Right there, the camera lens is completely shattered out of the Pixel 3. That's not good news. But the iPhone XR, still intact. Oh, check it out, there's a screen crack right there. All through the screen, all the way down. So would you rather have a cracked screen or a shattered camera lens? The reason I don't do drop tests very often is because the results are totally unpredictable. You know, it really just depends on what surface you're dropping on, how high it is, how the phone flips in the air, but it's still interesting to see what breaks first on which phone. With the Pixel 3, the back glass is cracked along with the camera lens, both relatively inexpensive repairs. But with the iPhone XR, the front screen cracked, which is the cheapest thing to fix, $199, but the back glass is still intact, which is good, because the repair price on the back glass of the iPhone XR is $399 through Apple directly. Let's do one more drop for kicks and giggles from above head height, and we'll drop it from there. All right, the screen cracked iPhone XR from above head height, we'll do it right here. Oh no, the screen. And then we have above head height, the Pixel 3. Oh man, above head height. That did not turn out well for the iPhone at all. The back glass is totally shattered all the way through and the screen is now completely worthless. While the Pixel 3, the screen is still totally functional, which is good because it's an OLED and relatively expensive to repair. And the back glass has about the same amount of damage as before. Cracks running through the whole thing. And there we have it. I tried to keep it as scientific as possible, but the results of this particular drop test are a completely destroyed iPhone XR, both the front and the back, non-usable. The display is completely non-functional. And we still have a functional Pixel 3 with the cracked glass and a cracked camera lens. So the main takeaway from this is that a case is always a good idea because glass is glass and glass can break. Which phone held up the best in your opinion? Let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it enjoyable and hit that subscribe button. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you around.